Hello and good morning everybody. Today we are going off on a little bit of an adventure. We are going north to Laughlin. We have a couple of friends that we met um, that they're staying up there and we're gonna hang out with them. Maybe have them show us around, maybe do some hiking. I don't know, it's kind of all up in the air. But we um, are gonna take the bike there because it's such a beautiful day. It's like 85 degrees and it's not windy at all. So we are off up to Laughlin to go have a fun day riding the bike and hiking and doing whatever else they're doing. <laughs> just driving along we had to get stopped for gas and our bike has been having issues and we thought we got it figured out but apparently not um, so yeah it's really weird it'll start fine when it's cold but then as soon as it like warms up we've been riding it for a while we shut it off it won't turn back on so now we're at the gas station luckily we brought the tools with this time um, to fix it our hopefully fix it ourselves and everything but yeah, so now we're stuck at a gas station with a bike that doesn't want to start. So, just a day in the life. So these lights over here are like flashing. Like, is that what it's supposed to do? It's like not recognizing that it's connected or something. You see it? It's not recognizing it's connected. What the hell? It's not sending the power. Start! All right, so as you can hear, we actually did end up getting it started. Our jumper pack wasn't working though for whatever reason. I don't know, I just didn't recognize that there was a battery hooked up. Um, but it turns out that a nice gentleman at the gas station gave us a jump. So luckily, we don't have to push it like three miles to the closest auto parts store. So onward, I guess, quite, quite the start to our day. <laughs> Finally got here and now we're about to head out um, to go do some hiking. I'm not sure exactly where or what it's called. I don't know, it's somewhere up over there Grapevine. somewhere. <laughs> what is it called? Grapevine Canyon. Grapevine Canyon is where we're going. So we're gonna go check that out with a couple of our tour guide friends. <laughs> I'm tour guide Barbie. <laughs> They're gonna show us around and do some cool hiking. Well, we made it to the trailhead. How far of a hike is this anyway? Do you know? As far as you want to go. <laughs> Travel at your own risk. Yep. Travel at your own risk, right there. Trail is not maintained. So we're on this hike to go see if we can find some petroglyphs. Apparently there is a bunch um, up in the canyon that we're gonna go find. That should be pretty interesting. It's a sacred area. So it's like located within like the Spirit Mountain area and it's where some of like the uh, earliest and largest petroglyph sites are so this should be fun so there are some right at that bottom of that darker rock right there they're all over the place there's some more up there it looks like there was some on this rock too, but kind of eroded away. We got all those ones up over there. That's so cool. All right, how are you feeling so far? Tired. <laughs> You're already tired? Yep. Although we did just climb up like a straight rock face. Like, look at this. We came up that. I think we have to go back down it. <laughs> so this, uh, this is intense. I was not expecting this, but this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we made it up to this spot. Um, it, keep, it can keep going like all the way through. Um, I guess it's like uh, 15 miles ish from where we started to the other end where the highway is. Um, we didn't go all the way there. We just went maybe a mile in ish. But now we're gonna kind of head on back a different way though. We're gonna head up and around some of these hills and boulders and do some more exploring. Definitely getting us in shape. <laughs> we're, we don't do this very often and we really need to, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the view from here. For all you people out there, that cactus is some inspiration. Just keep on keeping on. <laughs> that thing is just like literally in the side of a cliff. Just hanging out. That's crazy. So if you can believe it, we started the whole trail like right above yeah. Cam's head. It's like right down over there. That's where all the petroglyphs at the beginning were. And now we're way up here. This is intense. It is pretty awesome though. What do you think, babe? Good. Good. Are you okay? I'm good. <laughs> so we just uh, scaled down that uh, cliffside. How many feet up would you say that is? Like 200 feet up there? These things are amazing. Like that kind of looks like another boat, but I'm not sure like what this is down here. And they're not really small either. I mean like that's my hand compared to it. And there's one up there too. Oh, those look like sheep right there. See the little sheepies with like their horns oh, yeah. and their legs. <laughs> Those just look like a bunch of squiggly lines, but I'm sure they meant something. This is by far one of like the most cooling, coolest hiking experiences I've ever had. I wonder how old those are. Yeah, I don't even know. Like old, old. That's how old. So I don't know how well the camera can show it, but this rock face behind me is literally covered in them. Almost every square inch is covered and of all different designs too. Like this stuff is insane. Guys, so is this one proof that there were aliens? Does that not look like an alien? Nope, I'm I'm convinced that there were aliens way back when the Indians were here. <laughs> how how far did we go? We went about a mile. About a mile? Yep. And we went from about 2300 feet to 20 25 50, 2600, something like that. <clears throat> and then back down. So 250 feet. Wow. Sure felt like more. How many flights of stairs did you say that we had? 14. 14? 14 flights of stairs. Those were aggressive stairs. <laughs> stairs, <laughs> stairs the size of a car or yeah. a bus. Uh, who voted for hiking? So after our little hike, they took us on another little field trip down to uh, Lake Mojave. This is, this is pretty cool. There's people camping on the beach. Cam may or may not be debating if uh, we can get our rig down here, <laughs> but check this out. We can camp right on the lake. Is it cold? Yeah. Really cold or just kind of cold? Pretty cold. Oh yeah, it's chilly. Well, finally made it home. It actually wasn't too bad of a ride home. I thought it was gonna be really cold. There was definitely spots that were really cold, but then like most of the ride was actually pretty decently warm, thank goodness. But we finally made it home. Uh, I think we're just gonna take Ruben for a quick little walk and then we're just gonna call it. Super fun day though. Man, Steve is nuts. I was not expecting <laughs> to go that crazy on that hike, crawling up all those rocks in the cliff and Oh yeah, no, that was, that was super fun. 
I mean, this guy was probably like, you know, in his 60s. I was not expecting that intense of a hike, but I had a really good time. We went and explored um, over by Lake Mojave. Also, maybe found a new camp spot. I think so. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then we had supper with them and now we're back home. As always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and then go watch this other hike video that we had in Colorado. Thanks for watching.